and get the same, if not more, actually, esteem to the Father than we did when we was in the world. Um, so letting the flesh go and just, you know, transferring that energy that we had out in the world into the Father and the Spirit. Um, plus some. So, hallelujah. I want to uh, introduce my, my beautiful, beloved sister, Lahaya Serve, up here, to bless y'all with her beautiful voice. Um, and just let it rock flow through her. Hallelujah. 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 Bless be the name of Elohim. Happy New Year to you all. For those that know who they are, those that are awakened, those that are truly walking in the will of Elohim, those that are truly walking out his obedience, seeking out Yahabashah to walk and live accordingly to his word. He do it in his word, not just here only. Hallelujah. It's a blessing to be here with my beautiful Mishpachah this day, to be able to praise the name of Elohim. It's a, a beautiful thing to be in his word, to apply it to our lives, meditating on it. And um, we know when situations come up, that's the hard part of applying it to our lives. And um, really actually living it out through our action. So we know we're being tested, we're being tried for those that are of Elohim. He's testing our faith, and this is the purging and the refining stage. Hallelujah. 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 He is purging the elect, He is purging the house of Sir. We, we, we go through our ups and downs, but I know the most high is definitely dealing with us. He's definitely purging our minds and our hearts to make sure that we're right with Him before we go into this next season. And we have to also remember that it's not about us. He's preparing us to be there for those that need Elohim, for those that need his wisdom, for those that need his will, for those that need his word. He's preparing us and um, also preparing the sisters as well for those that might be considering polygyny. And we know that um, we have to go through some personal stages and we know that religion helps you get over a lot of things, you know, bitterness, resentment, jealousy, envy, like anything that you might have deep that drawn out of you, all of those things. The most high is purging us. And I'm thankful and grateful for my husband. I'm thankful and grateful for my sister wife. Just this whole journey has really helped our minds and our hearts to level up in this next season that people in Israel ain't even doing. And they fellowship every Shabbat. They fellowship every feast day. And to hate their brother, be sitting right next to them, eating that lamb, tearing that unleavened bread up, but got an issue with their eye. So we are just thankful and grateful that the most high is really using us in this season. So hallelujah. Hallelujah, Abiyah, we just come before you, just blessing your set apart for that name. We are thankful and grateful to be in your will and your word. We do not take it for granted. And we're just praying that you continue to purge us, refine us, and correct us, reproof us. Chasten us, Father, when we're out of line. Do not allow us to go down a path that's not of you, that's not of you, or that's not of your word. Please lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us from the evil one. 
who tries to accuse us day and night, Father. We know that we are at war, and we know the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through you, through your house, Shah. Hallelujah. 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 So I have a scripture I'm going to read. It is in Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach. So um, I'm going to read chapter 37, verses 19 through 24. And it says, one may be wise and benefit many, yet appear foolish to himself. One may be wise, but if his words are rejected, he will be deprived of all enjoyment. When one is wise to his own advantage, the fruits of knowledge are seen in his own person. When one is wise to the advantage of people, the fruits of knowledge are lasting. So when a man is given wisdom to other men, if they're not if they're not so focused and being prideful about what their stuff is, that wisdom will last with that man. Verse 24. One wise for himself has full enjoyment, and all who see him praise him. So if a man is really concerned about his brother and he shared that wisdom with him and he's not full of himself, that wisdom will stick with that man. That wisdom will last with that man. If he's not boisterous or prideful of what he thinks, he's always right. He's willing to humble himself and share the wisdom. And once he has that fruit that he bears within the nation or whoever he fellowships and bear fruit with, that wisdom and that knowledge will stick with that man because he's not a prideful man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So... We are going to turn up the Shabbat, hallelujah, and uh, we're not going to let nobody turn us around from this truth. We're not going to let nobody turn us around from the Most High's wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding. So I just pray that the Most High continue to allow us to seek out his will truly and make clarity of what it is that we need to be doing in these final hours because we know we're in the final hours and we're in the last days. So hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto Yah. Make a joyful noise unto Yah. You are worthy. You are worthy.
is a noise unto Elohim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this next song right here is called Get Out My Funk. And uh, I'm going to get out my funk, y'all. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all, right with me. to guide and lead and direct our paths on which way he wants us to go and which way he wants us to reside in according to his will. So this next song um, I'm going to do also...